stop today will give you a little insight into EAM, the folks that make up EAM. Give you a feel for the place, the technology, and what they're up to today. And uh, we've termed it the cassette assembly machine. Um, it assembles a, um, a test kit from, for one of our local customers. Basically takes two halves of a, a molded plastic disposable cassette, uh, assembles a test strip in the middle, um, and uh, probably at a rate of 55 to 60 per minute. And so it'll be used for medical tests. Exactly. Um, in the doctor's office, uh, an easy, uh, accurate way to test for different uh, flus, viruses, uh, diseases. Uh, tell us about the eighth wonder of EAM. <laughs> well, this particular project is a culmination of uh, years of uh, improvement on our custom automation design and uh, we are very proud of the way this machine turned out. It's doing, it's assembling a very difficult product and it's doing it at the rate and at the efficiency uh, that we expected and beyond. So uh, we really feel like we're positioned to do some more equipment uh, of the same type in the future and uh, look forward to some more work like this coming in. Great fun. Resorted to using uh, Schneider's motion controller they, they tout it as a motion controller because it, it has a, a fast motion bus. We've integrated three uh, servo systems into their motion bus, an LCMO58 motion controller the programming package is in the IEC 61131 format, so it's, it's internationally approved. The camera looking for it, and that gate right there will open and they end up down in the bucket forget about those we get rid of them if it's right side up it can be this way or this way so what it'll do is it'll come in and again the camera will take a picture of it and the, the next nest over is a pre-locating nest and that also rotates it to the proper position okay. based, on, based on what the camera tells it right so that's how we get in the proper orientation going down the, the system goes to the center nest, gets rotated if need be, goes to another nest for final location, and then onto the transfer system. But this is a standalone module that can be pulled out, and this laminate material, test material, can be cut in different lengths. It also comes in different widths, hence adjustments. There's a, a four position rotary pick in place. Comes down, picks the laminate, and that's our primary inspection camera, and that that basically takes a look at it, makes sure it's not out of place. 